Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm sitting like this. <laughs> uh, I forgot to put my iPad on the thing, but I wanted to start my reading vlog. Hi. As you can tell, I'm back out in my book room. Woo! Yay! Woo! <laughs> uh, today is the third day? Yeah, I think it was the third day. <laughs> Something like that. Of the um, Ramadan. I finished one book so far. Um, it's on my Kindle. I don't feel like looking it up, but it was The Romantics by um, Riley Hart. Hold on a minute. I'm not going to show you the picture, but I did write down, like, in my notes, like, um, yeah, I did write in my notes what they cut, what the book covered and stuff like that. Okay, so, The Romantic by Riley Hart. Um, I gave it six stars. It was 270 pages. Uh, one of the points I got for it was send a message to an ally, which was six points. That's where you spell your, try to spell your name out. So that gave me oops, six points. Um, wait a minute. I think it gave me six points. It moved me. Let me see here. Yeah, six points. Um, continue to exist. Underrated book. I consider it an underrated book. Uh, that gave me three points. Uh, and then indulge in something magical. Um, title is a curse of front. Front it did have that, and that gave me three points. Um, distract the elder other realm. A book with multiple POVs because there was at least two. Um, that gave me two points. And research the rift an ebook that gave me a point. Uh, I got ten points because it was over two hundred and one pages. And I got 10 points because it was indie or self-pubbed. So I got a total of 25 points for my team. So far. Which is Sanctrum. Sanctrum? How is that? I'm currently in the middle of a couple of books. I have one by me. Don't know where the other one is. I started uh, the one that I picked out for Riley's um, favorite. Uh, where was it called? Um... I'll look on here because I have it written down. Uh, the Howl Places by T. Kingfisher. I think I'm what like 60 pages you? in. Maybe. Not 100% sure. Um, I'm liking it so far. Um, yeah. It's very strange, but it's intriguing. And I'm also reading <laughs> Seven Face. Faceless Saints, which I'm really, 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 really loving. Sorry that that went down. Like I said, I'm holding this up. So, yeah. But this one's really good. This one um, has a murder mystery to it. It's also like they used to... What? Sorry, Hannah's out here, so, you know. But uh, they used to, like, um, were really good friends and maybe could have been something more, but then... Her father became, was considered a traitor or a deserter, whatever you know. Yeah, deserter. And when um, his dad, when the guy's dad found, found him, he chopped off the guy's head. It's not a spoiler because it tells you almost right away. And sent the head back to the wife and the daughter. He didn't, like, you know, you know, try to comfort her or anything, like, or, you know, anything. He just left. I think he left. I can't remember if he left or what, but I know he went into the service. Um, and this one, they're either magical or they don't have magic. And if they don't have magic, they get um, put into the military and to fight the war, you know, because they're expendable, you know, because they don't have magic, you know, no. yeah. And he comes back, and he's a lot, he's different, of course, because of war. And, yeah, and someone was murdered at the beginning of the book, and, um, and then, you know, two other people were murdered, but, of course, they weren't magical, you know, they didn't have magic powers, they weren't worth anything, according to, you know, them. 
so they weren't they didn't care you know that they were murdered but as soon as like someone that's high up was murdered then they're like we would find out who's doing it and um i forget his name but he doesn't leo i'm just calling him leo i know it's something i know it ain't, no it ain't leo why am i saying leo I don't know why I'm saying Leo. He's, his name ain't even near Leo. I'll tell you in a minute what his name is. Dominic. I don't know why I was thinking Leo. <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, he wants to know. You know, he wants to know who's killing them all. He doesn't care, you know, if they're powerful or not powerful, you know. And, yeah, so they're going to team up to try to find out who's killing these people and why um yeah <laughs> so i'm liking it so far i really like um i forgot her name roz yeah roz i really love roz like she's kick ass <laughs> i had a live last night and i was talking about her in the live i was i was reading the part out loud <laughs> in the live and i was like yes you go girl because she is one tough badass main character so i'm really liking her a lot but i haven't read anything today i just haven't been in the mood today i think i just need a break because i've been reading so much late lately like i read over i read exactly a hundred books in the last wait well the hundredth was to, was this month but i read 99 books in january february and march all together like, February, oh my gosh, I read over 40 books alone in February, so I think I just need to take a little, you know, just slow down a little. But I'm also reading, I'm also going to start this big baby. Oh, brother. <laughs> a Day of Fallen Night. Ugh, that thing's heavy. Um, I got pages, um, you know, mapped out for it, whatever you want to say, tabbed out. Um, I might try to read a little bit, you know, once... Um, I give Robin her medicine in about 12 minutes. Maybe I'll try to read like at least like 40 or 50 pages. I would like to be done with this by like the 20th at the latest. So I have it like tab for like 15 or 16 days, something like that. So I need to get to it. So if I don't read any tonight, then I'm definitely going to pick that up tomorrow and I'll probably read over. Uh, I'll probably read at least like. I think I have it where I'm supposed to read 57 or 58 today. I can't remember. But if I don't read that today, then tomorrow I'll, add, I'll do that. And I'll add like about maybe 40, 50 more pages. Maybe go to page 100 tomorrow. You know I should be a little over 100. But yeah. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. If I read any more tonight uh, and I think about it, then I will put you guys on the tripod instead of this. Because I'm sure you guys are like... Oh, quit moving. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yay, I'm so glad that I'm back out here, you guys. So you'll be seeing me out here a lot. But, yeah, I will talk to you guys all later. Bye. Hi, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Uh, we lost power. <laughs> We've been having bad storms, so... Yeah, so I'm going to turn the camera around and you can see how dark it is. So, yeah, look at our mess of a house. I'll show you the weather out there. It's calm Feels right now, but like we can feel it very bad over there. Made a lot of lot power. <laughs> it was like gusting and everything. Now I'm falling fast and my yeah, world's really expanding. Feels like love, even though we're kind of nervous. Together so, we'll be strong. I don't know for sure, but I'm reading. I know. Didn't know what hit me when we started. I was shaking electric, trying to stay calm and collected. On that summer afternoon, we were shining. Oh,
really liking Stroll. So, I'm gonna turn you guys. I'm gonna turn the world's expanding. Feels like love. Even though we're kind of nervous, together we'll be strong. I don't know for sure. All I know. The other way. Hold on a minute. I'll be back. All right. So in city of the city of Embers, um, you only go to school until you're 12, and then once you uh, are tw once uh, you turn 12 and the school year is out, that's when you're done and you have to get a job. So um, and in this in Ember, the city of Ember. Um, at certain times, the lights are turned off, and they don't come back on until a certain time. So, and Lena, Lena, I'm not sure how you say her name, and Dune are both trying to find out what's going on. Like, what aren't people telling them and stuff. It's not a spoiler. At the beginning of the book, like, the I don't know if it, who we're talking about. Two people are talking, and they buried something. Um, that was supposed to be opened after two, was it 200 and something years? 200 years or something like that? I'll tell you guys. I think it was about 200 years. Let me find it. I don't know if I annotated that part. So, um, yeah, 200. At first they were saying 200, and then the other person was like, 220 years. Anyways, and then, um, and then um, they were like, okay, we'll pass it on to each mayor. Each mayor is supposed to tell the other mayor before they get ready to die or before they're, you know, you know, basically when they retire. And then, um, or retire, and there's this one mayor that's, like, dying, and he's hoping that's whatever is in the um, box will, you know, will, like, save his life. And... Before he could get the box open, he has a heart attack. I think it was a heart attack and dies. Well, he dies no matter what what he dies from. <laughs> so that's why people never got the box. So, yeah. Seven faithless saints. There's a murder going on. And um, something happened to... And um, Why am I always forgetting his name? And Damien and Ra Roz passed. They used to, like, really like each other. And then something happened. And they no longer talk and stuff. He goes, like, away to war. And then he comes back. And people are being murdered. And they decide to team up together to solve it. I know it's a series. So... I'm sure it's gonna not, I mean, you know, so I don't know how many books are going to be in here, but I'm really loving it. But, um, yeah, it might be a while before we get the power back on. So, yeah, right now it's very quiet, though, like super quiet. But it said um, storms could continue until noon. And right now they're saying that the power won't be, that it probably won't get restored until at least three. It could change, of course, depending on, you know, if it gets bad again, you know, what's wrong, you know. So, right now we're in the dark. <laughs> but, yeah, fun times, fun times. That's why I'm not out in my book room and I'm, I'm in here. You know, it'd probably be a little bit lighter out there. <laughs> but, yeah, but probably colder. So, yeah, I will update you guys <coughs> when the power comes on. At least I can still, like record <laughs> for you guys so if it gets bad again i might come back on and show you the weather but right now it's just mm -hmm. dark so but yeah i will talk to you guys when i have something else to say happy wednesday hi everybody sorry if my head's a little chopped off let me see if i can push go back a little bit our power came back on as you can tell <laughs> i got some goodies so i was gonna do like a um you know, like its own video, but I decided to put it in here for um, just not talking about books. I can show you stuff. <clears throat> I got, I can't remember if I showed you the three that I've gotten before today. 
<clears throat> I got Daughter of No Wor Wor World by Carissa Broad Broadbent, something like that. It's called, it's the first book in the War of Lost Hearts. I'm not sure too much about this. I just heard a lot of people talking about it and I was very intrigued, so I want to read it. <clears throat> I got Jupiter and Thorn by Ava Reed. A lot of people said this is very dark, so I'm kind of a nervous, but yeah, I still want to read it. And then yesterday, Spellbound came out by F.T. Lukens. Lukens? Lu Lukens. I think it's Lukens. Sorry if I'm wrong. But yeah, so those are three I got recently. And I got today because I'm not really into, like... Star Wars and stuff, but I love Leia and Han Solo. So I've been wanting to read The Princess and the Scoundrel. And then I got this used, so it's probably not in the best of shape, maybe. Doesn't look too bad. It's like a little dent there. But for the most part, a little bit banged up there, but for the most part for the price, was it bad? But I've always been a big Han Solo slash <laughs> Princess Leia fan, so. So, this is by Beth Reeves. Yeah, it's a princess and a scoundrel. Of course, the sticker's there, but I'm not going to take it off. Don't throw the books. So far, I also have Book of the Month that came for this month. And I got, sorry about that, my phone's going off, of course. But I also got my glassware, which i got to be careful with. I don't want it to break. Um, let's see what we got here. I only ordered one, but there's a lot in here. <laughs> At least I thought I only ordered one. But this is from Fandom Glassware. Ooh, there's a lot in here. Ah, something fell. Ooh. <laughs> this is, um... Yeah, I don't think I... Wait, maybe these are from the, um... First order. Yeah, I think this is from the first, from both orders. I didn't get all my glassware, I don't think. So. No, it's only two of the glasswares, I believe. No, actually, I think it's all. Maybe this is the bigger one. For some reason, I thought it was a smaller one that was coming. So, anyways, I got Purdy Keeps Me. I mean, Petty Keeps Me Purdy and a Petting. Oh, add a heading. Okay, Calliope. I guess you're not supposed to read that part. I don't know. It says, maybe it's a mistake. I don't know. But it says, pretty keep, petty keeps me pretty. Of course, that's from Anne James. The other one says, no, this might be spoiler for who the last couple is if you guys don't know. So if you guys plan on reading this and you don't know who the last couple is, then don't watch. <laughs> or just, you know, go away for like two minutes. Two seconds, whatever, why I read the quote and then show it and then you can come back. So just like, skip just a tiny bit. It ain't gonna take that long. Okay, bye. Come back in a couple minutes. Okay, ready? Okay. <coughs> it says, Thomas, because I like you, you do? Yeah, but I really don't like that I like you, Adian. <laughs> so that's why it's a spoiler if you don't know who it is. We got this one. Don't remember ordering this one. I can't remember if that's a freebie or if I ordered that one. We got TBR. I always love Criminal Minds, and Reed is my favorite character on Criminal Minds, so I got this one. It says, I don't believe that intelligence can be accurately qualified, but I do have an IQ of 187 in it. I forget how you say that memory edit edit e i d e t i c memory and i can read 20,000 words per minute yes i'm a genius ultra memory i forget how you say it there's another one maybe i did buy these i can't remember which ones i bought i know i bought this one sarah j mass at court of silver flames i cannot survive without reading <laughs> And then this one is, oh, no mourners, no funerals, of course. And then, I like my men how I like my books, fictional. 
<laughs> Another one. For, of course, spoiler again for the couple. <laughs> for the last couple in the, um, the one that just finished, which is Maniac. Okay. Alright, here we go. Again, if you came back and you don't want to be spoiled, leave again. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize there was two. Okay, it says, Thomas, the only person who haunts me is you, Adian. Here's another one. I love bookmarks, so you guys can tell. And reading, but make it spicy. <laughs> of course, I needed that, you know? And here is, like, her, um, you know, her shop, where I get it for them. And that's the care, get, the care, you know, how you're supposed to take care of the cups and stuff. Let's see what we got here. Now, these are going to be spoiler, too, for, um, for, <laughs> for, um, for, um, Maniac. Uh, yeah, Maniac. Not all of them, because one of them, I think one or two is separate. I think there's three that is. This one's Noah, so this one ain't spoiler. Oh, my God, I love this. It's a Noah's Emotional Support Vodka. I have another one, but it's a different, um, it's a different shaped. I wanted this one. Look how cool. Isn't that cool? I gotta make more room for my shelf because I am out of room. It's the kind that you just hear. This one I actually probably gonna like actually use to drink out of. Because yeah, I'm gonna put that down there. Yeah, I think that one I'll keep to use. It's gonna be a long segment here. I'm not sure which one this one is. Yeah, this is Omni Game. It's the same as the bookmark. Petty Mate keeps me pretty. Calliope. These I won't use. These will go up on my shelf because, you know, I don't have an extra one. Every once in a while, like I said, I'll buy an extra one just because, just because I want like to have it to actually drink on it. I've got some more cups for you. But okay, Robin. Sorry, you guys, Robin. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. I think one of these are supposed to be like for smutty, smutty, smutty. <laughs> Says, oh, this is a, the, um, another one that's spoiler for Mania for the couple. Okay, spoiler again. So if you don't want to know a quote uh, or the couple for Maniac, then don't watch. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I'm going to count to five and then I'm going to start reading it off. So one, two, three, four. Five, okay. This is Thomas saying it to Adian. No buts, I love you, and I think it's time you come home forever. Oh. You know, if you read the first four, three, two, three books, then you would know that who the last one, who the couple is. <laughs> all right, one more. <laughs> well, I didn't realize I was gonna get all of them today. Actually, I think I still have like two, two coming because I think I saw, but I'm not really sure because I can't remember how many I bought all together. It was either four or six all together. Keep the chain in here. She would have a freak just airing that Anastasia. She does not like even, she does not like if you pop, the, do the poppers. She don't like anything that makes sound. And this one Can't even read it. Pajamas, wine, and a little dark something. I can't tell what it says. A little dark. All right, I I can't read it. <laughs> Maybe you guys can. I'm not good with cursive. Like I don't know. 
I'm sure it's something to do with romance. Dark, like dark romance or something. Look at that. Look at the skull and the books. Isn't that cool? I love it. But those are the glasses and the mar and the bookmarks. So that was from Fandom Glass. And then I'll show you the three I got from Book of the Month. I'm not gonna read to you what they're about because like I said, this will be this is gonna be long enough as it is. If I opened it up backwards or upside down. Okay, for like I said, this is for um April. It says responsibilities are overrated. Let me turn it this way. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff here. All right, so I got Anna Marie and the Fox, a Luna Sisters novel by Lena, Lena, Linda, Linda, something like that. De La Rosa, 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 sorry. I, but you guys know I'm bad at names. I'll just read to you right here what it says. A forbidden love between a Mexican heir, heiress and a shrewd, Shrewd business politician makes for a tantalizing Victorian season. Isn't that cool? It's not so good. The Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. I forget what this one's about. Um, it says, seven hours in the past, seven days in the present, seven survivors remain. Who, will, who would you save? Okay, sounds like they're going to have to, someone's going to have to decide who they're going to save. Okay, I didn't know what it was about. I just wanted something different, you know, the shake. I mean, I wanted a little bit of everything, so. Um, and then I got, I don't know if this comes out. I think this don't come out until next month or sometime, or the middle of this month. I'm not sure. It could be already out. No God, no creature, no war can come between them. Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Um, when two young rival journalists, journalists, Find love through a magical connection. They must face the depths of hell in a war between gods to seal their fate forever. I'll read to you what it says at the end here. Divine Rivals is an epic enemies to lovers fantasy novel filled with hope and heartbreak and the unparalleled power of love. So, yeah. So those are the big book of the month that I got for April. And these are the books that I've... I'm trying to pick them all up. And these are the books that I've gotten in the last few days. So yeah. And I will be back when I have something more to report. So I'll be back later. Hi everybody. So I read some more in Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Book one, The Lightning Thief. <laughs> I'm really liking it. I read it before, like I said, but it's been so long. I don't remember, and I only read it once. But I don't even remember half of half of it. So I'm glad I decided to reread it and not go straight into the last book in the second series. Because that's where I'm at, the last book. Technically, that's where I ended. I was in the middle of that one, and I just couldn't get into it. So I decided just to restart and... Since they were, the first time they were my son's books, this time they're my books, I decided to do it that way before I could annotate. As you can tell, I am definitely annotating. So yeah, I'm really enjoying the reread. I don't really know, know what to tell, tell you about it. It's about Percy Jackson, who finds out he's a demigod. A demigod? How you say it? A uh, half-breed demigod? I forget. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's like 12, I believe. And there's Grover, and there's Annabeth, and a bunch of different gods, of course. There's Luke. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really, like, enjoying it. Like, like I said, I don't remember half of it, so it's like I'm reading it for the first time. <laughs> But yeah, I'm finally reading this. This has been on my TBR for to reread this since what November, December? If not, excuse me, not before that. 
Sorry. Vince got me a, a cold brew from from Duncan, and it's making me have the belchy belchies. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to give you an update that I was reading this. And hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll be done with the book. I'm just taking my time because I've been reading so many freaking books. And I want to slow down this month. So, even though I'm doing this for a readathon, I need to take my time. So, that's why I'm trying to find books I can get the most points off of. Just in case I don't read a lot. But the books I do will give me a good amount of points. I want to try to at least get, like, at least try to get close to, like, 25 each time I read a book for the points, if possible. We'll see if I hit that much. I hope sometimes I'll hit more. Um, I don't know if this one will give me 25. I know it spells out my name, which is six. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to give me any um, points, extra points, which are 10. Oh, the page count? Even though I don't see that mentioned, like, where it asks you the points. So I'm thinking, but they do ask you, like, how many pages are in it. So they might add that on separately. So if that's the case, then the last book I would have got, like, 35 and not 25, like I counted. But I'm not really sure how they do that. So that's why I'm just, like, saying 25, but it could be 35 that I got for um, reading The Romantic. Oh, my God, that book was so good. So, so good. And I'm also reading a romance I found. It's a Mel, Mel, Mel. I don't remember the name of it, but I found it. Like yesterday or the day before and I picked it up earlier when the power was out and it was still kind of dark so I couldn't see you know very well to read the book physically so I found that one and I was starting to read it um don't know too I mean it's okay so far in the book I don't remember the name of it it's like probably like a three star right now it's just something to pick up but I like it enough that I want to continue reading it to see what happens and it'll give me some points maybe not a lot of points but it'll give me something so that's the main thing even if it's only five ten points for my you know my team i just want to get some books read for my team yeah and uh i'll probably be doing a video soon because next next week i think next friday and saturday i think it is for next saturday and sunday something like that is there uh peace talks where you're reading as many books as you can and you can't take anything from, you know, like the other teams. Can't take anything from you or you can't take anything from the other teams. It's all plus points. And uh, the more you read, of course, the more points you're going to get during that weekend. Uh, yeah. I didn't really look into much to it. So I don't know what, like, everything is. Like, I don't know how the points are going. I don't know if you still, like, um, you know, I don't know if you still, like, um, pick out the prompts. Or, I mean, you know what I mean, like. If you fulfill the prompts with it, or if you just get points for the pages count, I'm not sure. So, I got to look into that more, because I really didn't look into it. I just know that you can't, that it's peace talk, so you got to, you know, be nice to each other. <laughs> yeah. So, that's all I know. But I'll probably do a TBR for that one, even though a lot of them are probably going to be just mood reads. I'll mention some of the ones I think I might read for that 48 hours, I think it is. I'm probably going to be reading a lot of mangas and a lot of books on my um, Kindle. So I'll probably just show you the mangas that I'm interested in. And then if I read anything else, you guys will know during the vlog. But I can't wait for that. It's going to be fun. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to update you guys on where I'm at in my reading. And yeah. Um, uh, this is probably going to be a long reading vlog because I probably won't put it up until tomorrow or Friday. So if I'm reading, I'm going to keep like telling you. So it might be like an hour or two because I think it's already like, I'm not a, two hours, but like maybe an hour because I'm already like at 30 something minutes, I think, or close to 30 minutes. Yeah. And if I go until Friday, I might like end it tomorrow night and get it ready to go up on Friday. And then that way Friday, Saturday and Sunday will be another reading vlog. You know, and so on. Yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go, and I will jibber-jab with you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. I just want to come on real quick to let you know that the book that I'm reading that's on my ebook is uh, Misfits 
by Garrett Lee, I think is the author's name. If I figure out how to uh, attach it when I do my, um, you know, my edits, then it'll be either, either, you know, on one of, up on one of the sides, either this side or this side. <laughs> Can't get it over there. One of these two sides, you'll see it pop up if I can figure out how to edit it. If not, then I'll put the, the book, the link, I mean, you know, where you can find out, where you can see the picture yourself. You know, I'll put the link in the thing about the book. At least this book. I tried to put all the books that I mentioned in this vlog, but I'll at least mention. Let me put that one up there if I can't get it in the pictures. But if I can get it in the pictures when I edit, then I'm not gonna worry about putting it down below if that makes sense. But it's a Mel 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 romance. It's with um, Cass, uh, Jake, and Tom. I believe I could be wrong, so don't. Quote me, I know there's a Tom for sure, and I know that there's a Cass. And Cass and Tom, I think it's Tom. I'm trying to remember. Or is it Jake? I don't know. Cass and one of the other ones are, um, like, already established couple. And they have an open relationship. And then they bring the other guy into it. But I can't remember who's who. I'm still trying to remember the names. But I'm pretty sure that it's Jake... I mean, Tom and Cass that are the main cu couple. And if I'm right about the name Jake, then he's the one that's brought in. And the one that's brought in has, uh, what's it called? Trek? Trex? Trex? Whatever that word is. I don't know how, if I'm pronouncing it right. right. Trex? 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 No, I said it wrong. Syndrome. However you say it. I just said it a second ago if I said it right. <laughs> But yeah, so you'll see it in one of these in edit. I mean, one of these two spots in editing, if I can figure it out. I'll just post a picture there of the book. Or I'll post a cover, whatever you say. So, we will see. I'm going to go ahead and try to do that now. Before I get any further in the book. And forget to try to even try. So yeah, so you guys will know when the video goes up. It, after I talk about it now. If it goes into the book. Um, if it goes on to the one of these spots. Okay, bye. Hi, everybody. I found another... <laughs> I started another book. I know I'm reading like six or eight now, seven. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Strike Battle. It's called by Willow Dixon, I think. Dilo, Dilo, Willow Dixon or Dixon Willow? I'm not sure. <laughs> I know it's... I just don't know what's the first and what's the last. I can't remember. I think it's Willow Dixon. <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, I'll put the picture here or here in a minute but um it's T tyler or taylor and i can't remember if it's taylor or tyler i always get how the spelling wrong and i forgot gage <laughs> i almost forgot the other guy's name and both of them think that they're straight and um one is restore um, needs his place this place that he bought restored and the other guy just got divorced and he was staying with his parents and he knows how to restore houses and stuff like that so they agreed you know to he, the one guy agreed to um, let the other guy stay with him why you know why he's fixing up the house and at first they become friends and then you know more they both discover that they're not really as straight as they thought they were. So, yeah, I'll put the, the picture somewhere. <laughs> I'll show it to you. I'll probably show it to you before this clip. But, yeah, <laughs> I'm just reminding myself just in case if I don't come back and do it. <laughs> but, yes, it should be when I first start talking about the book. So, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to update you guys real quick because I'm almost done with them at like 81%. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Bye. Happy Saturday, everybody. Sorry I haven't updated you guys the last like what day and a half, two days? I can't remember. I just started feeling better yesterday and then we had to do some running around last night. Um, so I never got a like, I wanted to like have it up yesterday. I mean like, you know, like you guys updated yesterday, which was Friday, but yeah. So yeah. <laughs> but I did finish another book. I finished um, 
The City of Embers by Jeanne Dupre. Dupre? Dupre? I'm not sure. Um, I really liked it, as you can tell. It's a middle grade. It's about um, Dune and Lian. Liana? L I N A? I don't know how you say her name, Lian. Lian? Lian? I'm not sure. But um, in this world, um, they're running out of. Um, I mean, it's like dark all the time, and they're starting to get a lot of power outages. So they're about to like go completely dark. And Dune and her, Lian, Lian, are um, trying to like find out what's going on. And yeah, it's really good. I don't want to really say too much because of spoilers. Because I would spoil it. It's kind of hard to talk about without like saying spoilers. But it was really good. Um, I really love both of the characters. Um, I really enjoyed the ending. I gave it four stars if I didn't say already my rating. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Um, I can't wait to read the next one. I have all four. I might read them this month. I don't know because I want to read some other books first that I that are on my TBR. So, yeah. Um, I got 33 points for it. Let me see. I'll tell you guys what it's for right here. Okay, so, um, I got six, four, six points for, um, build an energy source, which is some type of, um, uh, light, either on the cover or in the title. And there's definitely light source there, as you can see. Um, I got an ally, where you can spell your name. There's an L in bestseller. There's an O in York. There's an R in Ember. And there's an I in City. So, Lori. Um, let's see. What else? So, that gave me another six points. Number three, because you could use up to five um, prompts. Number three was, it's a new to me author. So, that gave me five, like I said. Uh, four is... Continue to exist, an underrated author. I guess it would be an underrated author. I'm going with it. She said, if you think it is, then count it. That gives me three points. And then cross to enemy territory, which is YA or middle grade. And it's definitely middle grade. I'm sorry, my face was kind of out of there. So it gives me the... Um, 30, if I counted that right, it's like 33 points. So all together with the three books that I read so far, I think it's like 111 points I gave. If I remember, I'll put the title, I'll show the titles again. And they'll be here and here after I talk about them. Um, so the first one I read was, um, let me get it first. The first one I read was The Romantic. Like I said, it would be here or here. And for that, that was Riley Hart. That one gave me a to total of, I believe, 35? Yeah, that gave me 35 points. Then I read, um, it'll be over here or over here. I read um, Battle... Oh, I forgot to write it down. Battle... I forget the right I forgot to write the thing down, but the title and the name will be right there and everything. But that one gave me the most points. It gave me that was a four star. The first one was a six star. I can't remember if I told you. The second one was a four star, like I just said. And that one gave me the most. It gave me a plus forty three. So yeah. So I think I'm doing really good. hundred and eleven plus points. I was hoping to have, like, at least four books read, but, hey, three books for the first, like, like, this is the second, going on the second week, so we'll start a new vlog, but, yeah, um, I really, really loved it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I really, really liked it, so two of the books I read were ebooks, and one was physical, and um, today we're going to go to the mall, and I'm hoping when, like, going there and coming back that I can get pretty close to being done with this one and, that, and then that'll be awesome I'm also reading of course 
Percy Jackson. I'm hoping to finish that up this coming week. And the Howl Place, which is over there. <laughs> Can't grab it. Uh, I'm hoping to get rid of, I mean, not get rid of, to read that this week and then start at least another one. And also, I got a book yesterday. I got Modern Divination. I forget who I heard about this from, but it sounds good, but the cover is creepy. Like, look at this cover. Like, isn't it creepy? Ooh, creepy, creepy, creepy. I think this might work if I decide to read it this month. L O R I. Yep. That would give me like 12 points right away because so light source on the cover, the moon. So it would give me six for my sp my name spelling of my name. So yeah, this is what it says. Some things you destroy because you love. A Ur Urel, Urella, some of that. Swart, some of that has spent 23 years maintaining the aqu Aquilium, how do you say that word, between her carefully carefully curated human life and the magical one that she endures in secret. When a devoted best friend and top marks at a prestigious university, she has everything one could possibly want nearly within her gasp, except her gift of green magic has begun to fade. And if that wasn't enough to upset the balance of her life, a fateful run-in with another power-hungry witch with a pendant for stolen magic has threatened to bring it all to ruins. Cast into an unexpected alliance with her dreadfully ignorant classmate, Ariel, goes into hiding among a peculiar, peculiar family of witches where she discovers that the secret to her safety requires breaking the rules she had f she has fouled her all her life make no promises tell no one what you are and never stay the night so it sounds like it's going to be really good i'm going to show you guys i'm going to get up and i'm going to show you guys cuz we're going to go to half price i'm going to like show you guys all these books that i'm getting rid of so let me unplug and have anastasia move and i'll show you all these books i got like a big ass pile that i'm getting rid of if Anastasia will let me get up <laughs> because she's, she's, she's resting comfortably. Come on, Anya. Mommy's going to get up for a minute. You guys want to see Anya? Hold on. I'll show you Anya. Hi, everybody. Sorry, that shouldn't. Anya, say hi. Say hi, so, everybody on now. camera. Hope you guys are all doing good. Right, Bambina, Twitch. Are you the Bambina Puncha? Say hi to everybody. Say hi. You want to do high five? You want to do high five? Do high five. Do high five with Mama. Do high five with Mama. <laughs> get her, you guys. Isn't she funny? I'm trying to get her to do high five, and she just wants her belly rubbed. Isn't she the cutest thing ever? High five. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do high five. Do high five with the Mama. Do high five. There we go. <laughs> high five with the mama. High five, I say. Sit up and do high five. Sit back up. Get up here. She ain't gonna listen. She needs you to do a high five. But she just wants a leg. There we go. We'll just do it this way. <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest puppy? I just love her so much. And she knows she's spoiled rotten. Don't you, Bambina? You know you a spoiled rotten little bit. Yes, don't you? Sorry about the mess, as you guys can see. It's a big mess. There's fur everywhere and everything. This week is going to be my, this coming week is going to be my project in here. I'm going to go, since I got rid of some more books, I'm going to go through the ones that I've kept. I'm probably going to write them down, trying to make like a little area where all my red books go together and all my books that I still need to read are going to go together. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay, Anna, Anya, move up, move, 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 please, move out of the way. Our mommy can get down and show everybody the books real quick that I'm getting rid of, or the stack. I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing. Sorry about the mess, like I said. <laughs> I'm trying to get off of this chair. It takes me a couple of 
seconds to get off the chair. She probably wants to go outside too. First, let's take her outside, put her outside. Rowan outside! Feels like love. outside. You've been made a shot. Straight into my heart. Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding. Feels like love. Even though we're kind of nervous, together we'll be strong. I don't know for sure, all I know. Didn't know what hit me when we started. I was shaking electric. Trying to stay calm and collected. And that summer afternoon, we were shining. Now you're saying hi to Anna Sophia. Fast and my world's expanding. Feels like love, even though we're kind of nervous. Together we'll be strong. I don't know for sure, all I know. This feels like the sweetest breath of air. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. At the same time, how you take my breath away. world's expanding, feels like love, even though we're kind of nervous, together we'll be strong, I don't know for sure all I know, this love is blossoming between us in yellow and indigo. the drill if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please think about subscribing and hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video is up for your viewing pleasure until next time happy reading thanks for being awesome and happy easter to everybody that celebrates tomorrow and i will talk to you guys all later bye